Father, God has given me everything. Everything a man would ever ask for. But Father, but this is my child. My only child. Father, she is my nightmare. Father, my daughter is so wayward. She sleeps at random with men without even asking questions. She parties from sunrise to sunset, from morning to morning, week to week, month to month. Father, please. I, I, I want you to take her in and, and put her under strict religious discipline. Please, Father. Please save my child, please. Chief. Please. Why not bring her Friday adoration and deliverance? Oh yeah. Um, Father, you know you know how busy we are. You know we run a crazy tight schedule. Like my wife just traveled London yesterday and she will visit Amsterdam and Singapore and Spain. She probably spend about a month plus before she comes back. And then tomorrow I'm leaving for China and from there to Malaysia. I'll be staying like a month. You understand father? There is no time. My house help traveled, staying out for one week. The bishop hasn't sent the seminarian. So who oh. will... Father, this is a perfect arrangement. In fact, it's a divine arrangement. So, let her be the cook, the steward, the gardener. Father, make her to work. This thing does nothing. Her hands are idle. Please. Well, um, leave her behind. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Um, Father. Mana. As in a Um, Father, this is a check for two hundred and fifty thousand naira. For what? Well, Father. Well, since my, my child is going to be here for some time, uh, I think it's only right that, you know, I make provisions for the house while she's here. I'll bless you. Ooh. I shall give you a list of religious exercise that you must observe religiously. It is through prayer 
that God shows mercy to his own. Mm. I want you to know that this is the home of a priest. So certain decorum must be observed. At all times, you must sit like a lady. Sorry, Father. For the period you're going to be here, no makeups. You wear clothes that cover your body because it is a temple of the Holy Spirit. That will be all for now. Your room is first on the right on this corridor. You may go now. Anita! Anita! Yes, Father. Have you eaten? Yes, Have you prayed? Anita. Mm -hmm. Anita, you must learn to pray in season and out of season. Pray for grace to fight temptation temptation of the flesh for the spirit is strong but the flesh is weak yes father bless in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen you can go thank you father anita yes father I want you to know that this is the home of a priest, a celibate priest. You should be mindful of what you wear before me. Go in peace.
Anita! Anita! What have you done today? Nothing much, Father. I just finished cleaning the kitchen, washed the dishes, and said my prayer. Verses for the Bible for today. Beautiful. Beautiful, so good. May the name of the Lord be praised. You see, it's always good for a Christian to be busy. When you are busy, it will help to, dis to, to distract the mind from thoughts of sin. Don't forget, I don't mind. It's the devil's workshop. But Father, I don't know what else to do. Hmm? Mop the floor. Clean the windows. When you're done, you let me know. I'm off to church. Father, why did God create sex if it's really bad? God created sex for the procreation and intimacy of the valid matrimony. Outside this, it is a sin. You see, beyond moral value, think of the multiple risk of the STDs, STIs, HIV AIDS, and the unwanted pregnancy risk of abortion and etc. Well, that's only looking out the gloomy side of sex. I think sex relaxes and calms the individual. It's an exercise that is good for the body and mind. in a funny kind of way. Strong and athletic. If you were not a priest, I would have made love to you. <laughs> Anita, you don't talk to me like that. I am a priest. Yes, I know. Father, for all I've seen and fallen short of the glory, it's true grace is not in falling, but in rising, which each time you fall. And 
But for you to receive that grace, you must first fall. Be silent, daughter of Jezebel. Before you become a priest, the authority is my love. Confirm you as a real man. You know what I mean? Yes. Doesn't this look anything to you? I want you never to walk into this city with dress like this. Seminarian Joseph. He is in the major seminary. Joseph? Meet Anita. Ah, Anita, nice meeting you. Thank you. The bishop sent Joseph to come and do his apostolic work here. Meanwhile, he will keep his bag in the guest room while he sleeps in the sitting room, depending where you will live. Okay? You people should be on guard against the antics of Satan and his fallen angels. Am I understood? Yes, Father. You may take your leave now. Thank you, Father. I need to get me water to drink. Okay, Father. He's on the couch in the sitting room where you asked him to sleep. Are you sure? Oh, I see. Reverend Father Edwin, I don't do cheeks, I do cups. Seminary and Joseph. Yes, Father. You need to understand what your vocation requires of you. As a priest, you are called to a celibate life. If you add chastity to it, you will sure make heaven. Thank you, Father. You see, you try as much as possible to avoid women. They are evil. 
Do not look at a woman lustfully. Rather, try at all times to see their soul which is in their need of salvation. May God give us the strength to surmount desires of the flesh. Amen. Father, I will do just as you have advised. I bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen, Father. Go in peace. Yes. Is there anything the problem, Father? Nothing is the problem. It's part of your apostolic work. Ah, uh, I understand. Yeah, I understand. So you have to go there. Okay, Father. Yeah. Hey, Father. Just to inform you, I have not seen Miss Anita this morning. And I'm very sure she did not sleep in her room. Not to worry. I know where she is. Okay, okay. Um, Father, before I leave, can I clean up your room? Oh, no, 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 don't bother. I can manage. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Just go to the orphanage. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank Go you. Go in peace. Thank you, Father.
but makes it less painful. Come on. Chief! Father! <laughs> Father! Father! How are you? Fine, fine. Well, please do come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Please sit down, you're welcome. You're welcome. So, how's your family? Oh, fine, fine. How was your trip? Oops, oh, really? Wow. Fine, wow. Beautiful. And what about my daughter? Oh, wonderful. All right. Anita! Anita! Yes, Father. <laughs> what? Father? <laughs> what a transformation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this my daughter? <laughs> yeah. Father, Edwin is a wonderful man of God. Really? <laughs> wow. Father, God will bless you. Yeah. God will bless you. Thank you. It's, yes. it's the Lord's doing. Yeah. And it's marvelous in our eyes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So, Father, can I take her with me? Please, immediately. Yes, because her mother, your mother, is dying to see you. Father, what about the station of cross? The humbling of the flesh? And you also promised to teach me how to pray without season. Yeah, uh, 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 Father, Father, Father. Look, we're not in a hurry. Honestly, honestly. We, we are not in a hurry to take her. I mean, she, she is the one requesting for it. I mean, I mean, I mean, I requesting to be taught how to pray. Father, please. Please, in fact, where is my check book? Oh my God. This is incredible. So I have to write out a good check for you, Father, because you've done a marvelous work. Ah! Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Father, this is for you. Father, Chief! <laughs> Chief, you're so wonderful. Oh, no. Father, Thank you so wonderful. much. Thank, Thank you so you much. much. Wonderful. Yes. Um, Thank you so much. Father, I, I, I will have to go. Okay? Send me away to the family. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. 